It's the only book out of all the libraries of the world that it can be said is breathed by God, inspired by God. What's written in the Word of God, the Bible, is all only what originates in the mind of God. And by the inspiration of God, it's given to men who wrote about it. It's inspired of God. The Scripture is a script. That's what the Word is. It's something written. The Scripture is written. And so sacred writings inspired, breathed by God. God inspired the, the writings of the Bible. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 21 says, No prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. That's inspiration. Men writing, men prophesying as they're inspired, they're carried along by the Holy Spirit. J.C. Ryle says this. He says, it's a privilege to possess the only book which gives a reasonable account of the beginning and the end of the globe on which we live. It's a privilege to possess the only book which gives a true and faithful account of mankind. It's a privilege to possess the only book which gives us true views of God. It is a privilege to possess the only book which gives a clear account of the full, perfect, and complete provision which God has made for the salvation of fallen man. And finally, he says it's a pr privilege to possess the only book which explains the state of things that we see in the world around us. So you get the idea, the Bible, open on your lap today, it's a privilege to have that. <laughs>